statements of President of Cuba, Miguel Diaz Canel. We are very aware of the big uh, danger of the unitary project that represents these islands and the, also the value of the pronouncement of the daily pronouncement on, on Venezuela, which Venezuela is a leader of the international independence from the times of Bolivar, and today they are facing a concerted a concerting campaign against it that searches for a coup d'etat. They have tried so many times that be, uh, within, uh, under the excuse of uh, discrediting the, uh, the elections, and on the other side, they, take, they took for granted the violent violent and fascist uh, stance from the opposition that denies to accept the winning of President Nicolás Maduro. Those stances, the warning that they wouldn't recognize uh, other results than theirs showed very early before the electoral results that there was coming a new phase of all previous coup attempts to overthrow a legitimate, a legitimate government by uh, in, interfering in a, so uh, those who didn't validate who, who validate the results by a website uh, that's that's uh, well the size cannot become in something uh, in a in a contest uh, well cuba our homeland our people recognizes and admires this severe answer the high demo democratic uh, sense and the the peaceful stance of president nicolas maduro and his team to respond th to those uh, to those coup d'etat attempts and, bef and before the, the electoral chamber of the Supreme Court of Justice. So it is barely a few hours the Supreme Court of Justice through after an auditing process of the of the electoral results issued a final judgment that confirms the victory of President Nicolás Maduro in the July 28th elections uh, 2024. As it was expected, the same radicals who didn't recognize the official results and contempt the contempt contacted the court, they uh, tried to uh, delegitimate the power the will of the majority must be respected. The people of Venezuela voted being a word in favor of dignity, in favor of their sovereignty and for peace. And they have backed up that uh, those votes with massive demonstrations in the streets of Venezuela. And so as even though those facts have been silenced by the opposition, by the opposition media outlets by the West that served the empire. It is not the first time that the US imperialism and the regional oligarchies showed a rejection and content of the will of our peoples. They, it's, not the f it's not the first time that they try to defeat political process processes against their interests because they favor the people. And so it is not possible to remain quiet ahead of these uh, oligarchies and the imperialism, imperialism and the assaults in communications against Venezuela. Today against Venezuela and tomorrow against any of our countries. Today, they try to overthrow the, the legitimate power to be substituted 
by ofi by the forged documents. So they are in favor of they exacerbate and promote destabilization, which are the same without any proofs and clearly as an excuse to the attention of their political failures. They try to delegitimate the popular movements in their countries with accusations and foreign interference. We said with absolute uh, irresponsibility, it, they, they are trying to come back uh, to make Venezuela come back to destabilization times, and that we couldn't allow that. We cannot allow that. The emancipating vision are the one that defends future and, and social justice for the sake of everyone. And uh, on the other side, they try to preserve Ichimoni, and Bolivarian revolution is brave enough to confront those opposing sectors. So here in Clark and we, any, for, any imperial force or financed by its Ichimoni, Ichimoni make us a reverse the peace in the region. Partners, siblings, on July 10th, uh, 2024, we met at the Alba TCP summit to denounce, to denounce uh, the, the coup d'etat attempt against Bolivia. It was in 2019. And we are here today to uh, denounce the coup d'etat attempt against uh, Venezuela and in favor of our unity. The 24th summit in December, uh, in presence uh, that we are going to meet in Havana, and I get a, and I just invite you to all, to the all to this summit. We we will strengthen the commitment to the, the defense of peace and sovereignty, and against the uh, interference of any nation in the internal affairs of our country. Oligarchies and imperialism want to attempt against uh, the triumph of any popular force, and they want to destroy the, the dreams reached in case they conquered the power. We denounced the harassment of the imperialism, the offensive of oligarchies, and the media manipulation for generating destabilization and promote a coup d'etat to defeat the Bolivarian Chavista government. Cuba condemns the aggression against Venezuela and rejects any attempt of violence and disruption of peace in the Venezuelan against the Venezuelan people. The, the blockade cost on its economy for so the imperialism imposes sanctions against those nations who don't subdue to their orders. So attached, attached to the international principles and coexistence, it is Venezuelans will are the ones who have to decide over their future, and we won't be silent in, in front of all the abuses and those who we are 
We backed up the Venezuelan people with, with our partner, Nicolás Maduro. So we will always support the peaceful, honorable, and dear Venezuelan people who has been punished with co unilateral cohesive measures and amid adverse uh, situations have managed with a lot of effort and work the, emerg the economic emergence of the nation. Uni unity and peace and decency of those peoples in revolution. Cuba that knows, respects, and admires the civic unity of the uh, Venezuelan people, trust that with that strength, the people, the, the homeland of Bolivar, Chavez, and Maduro will continue growing in despite uh, harassments. Uh, always on. Everyone war to victory. Thank you very much. Homeland of Bolivar, Chavez, and Maduro.